Welcome back Wastelanders. This is the last ranger and I'm going to attempt to take apart this knife I got. It's the Summit Knife Company. It's the Half Dome. Um, I, I did a really quick unboxing of it and I haven't like got had time to uh, play with it but when I got it I remember it was really tight and I tried to loosen it up the screw and it 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 just doesn't it just doesn't flip for shit um, even if I loosen it up uh, a lot I can't flip it so maybe maybe this knife is not on bearings or maybe it's not lubed so I'm going to take it apart just to see if it I can make the action better all knives don't have to be flipped normally in my opinion but I want to see if I could can make it flipped so I don't know if this is a, just a, I can push that out or not okay yeah that's that's different this <laughs> yeah that's different the screws uh, are in the pivot. I don't know. Is that knit or different? When this the this the screws on either side of the pivot, the female is in the. Huh. I don't know. It's weird. It's a T6. It's very tiny. Yeah. Maybe a T6. Oh. That's a tiny, really tiny screw. Oh. Okay, that's the other side. That's the clip side and the non clip side. Okay. I mean, I may get myself into like a, a pickle here, taking this knife apart. Uh, the previous owner did Loctite it, or maybe the company did. I don't know. So hopefully I can. Okay, yeah. So it isn't on bearings. It's a washers. So that ex that explains why it's uh, not easy to flip. And yeah, they're dirty. I, I you would think. Um, this expensive knife I mean it's not super expensive but it w you would think it would be on bearings I don't know you would think yeah yeah I don't know what that that divot is I, okay yeah, I don't know what the these are. Hmm. Okay. This is a very interesting knife. I like the spacers. So you could see this thin, very thin piece of uh, micarta 
on one side there's a titanium on the other side here's the blade and look two little phosphor bronze bronze washers if anybody knows what these um, round divots like drilled out divots mean it, it's not like they made a mistake maybe weight relief <laughs> it's really weird I got to get a better mat too that contains my screws um, my cat is always jumping up here and trash in the place and the screws go scattering everywhere so this is not I'm not going to make a good flipper out of this unless I keep adjusting the pivot until I get it just right when I uh, tighten up this side um, the blade centers more and when I loosen up the side it, it seems to lean more so because even though if I loosen it and it, it's there's not enough a, there's not enough detent to flip it out I mean you just it's just it's not a flipper I mean it's almost there oh but so but if you look at it it's not centered and I mean let's see if it has some blade play it has a little bit of blade play too to just uh, so if I tighten there's no blade play <laughs> but and it's almost centered but I can't flip it <laughs> oh well it's maybe it's getting better maybe the previous owner it didn't like it and they it didn't they didn't flip it enough maybe I'll get it broken I it's I seem to yeah it's not centered but maybe that's I'll have to like, let's, let's see if it has blade play no I, I don't think it it's it's kind of tight but yeah yeah man yeah I'll keep working it maybe take it apart again and polish up those uh, washers oh, man it's almost there thanks for uh, viewing my failure um, joining me um, this is a the knife I'm carrying this week and I feel like I can get it give it a review so look for the review before the weekends because I've had this knife the 308 um, I have it, had it maybe f the beginning of the pandemic or like I had it a lot it, it, I had it a long time so um, 
it's a great flipper. <laughs> um, so I've just never carried it. I've I've just messed around with it and stuff, but it's it's kind of too big to carry. But I mean, I I carried it to today, and it was really good. So it carried really good. And at first, I didn't like the clip because it the first time it was very hard to get it in the pocket. But since then, I maybe I've is a trick to it. Um, I if you grip it a certain way and like just barely lift up on there or just just barely lift and you slide it in your pocket and it, it goes right in so it may it just the clip maybe just needs to be broken in because it's not much space in there uh, but this is a, a really great knife it's my first ZT so I'm a newbie I mean I've I don't normally buy ZT because for me it's kind of expensive um, but when this 308 come out, I I really liked it because it, it it reminds me of the old ZTs, the um those ones that with the camo blades and stuff. Mm. But um but it looked like a modern flipper that I would like, you know. So I saved up and I think I only spent 240 for it, but it's I think it's 300, and I don't know how I. I got it I somehow got a special deal and I don't even remember where I bought it but but I really like this knife so I'm, I'm gonna review it this week and um, this knife makes me happy this knife it I thought would make me happy but I mean I'll, I'll probably still carry it and I'll just realize it's just not a something that you could flip out I, I really I like how it looks and stuff and maybe I I'll have to cut with it and I get a new sharpening system so maybe if it doesn't cut really well I'll sharpen it up too but I'll probably keep playing around with this uh, this uh, the phosphor bronze washers and see if I can polish them up and then get a smoother opening while keeping the blade centered because if I loosen up this pivot this this uh, screw has no effect so if I loosen this up I could um, I could flip it but if the blade is almost touching this uh, micarta scale so and I don't like that so I, I really I just rather have the, uh, an opening blade with two hands or just rolling it out like that um, if, if you know just to maintain the centered look so alright sorry for the boring but boring long video I don't know maybe somebody can answer me um, is it uh, better to use heavy um, pivot oil on um, phosphor bronze or the lightweight um, pivot lube on the everything thanks guys thanks for looking at me my videos Bye-bye.